Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Moon! Last time around we went through Route 2 and got here to the entrance of the Verdant Cavern! The place for our first trial! But first thing first, I wanna pick up some berries here! Because you know, berry picking is fun and all! Good, it's good having all these berries even though I may never actually use them! But you never know when they will actually come in handy! Now, we are all healed up and ready. Well, yeah, it's pretty much only Katara that, I, that I've that i got for this uh, here uh, trial, but let's go! Greetings, Captain Ilima here, and my trial begins mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you've prepared some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. Are you prepared for the trial? Of course! I'll be waiting for you! You'll be waiting for- Time for- Time for training! Time for trials! Time for us to do something with Verdant Cavern! Let's go! Let me formally welcome you to Verdant Cavern. I'm your captain, Ilema. Why I have to be so redundant? I don't know. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the seed crystal there. You'll need to be completely in sync with your Pokemon to succeed. Here. And there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon make their home in this cave, but one stronger and more fearsome than all the rest, known as a totem Pokemon, also resides here. It would be the greatest obstacle you face if you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. This is but one of the seven trials you will face during your island challenge. And begins now the trial of Captain Ilima. Trial start! So this pretty much replaces the gym system that has been with the Pokemon series since the beginnings. And I find it very interesting that uh, you don't fight trainers, you fight wild Pokemon. Now, this is... Uh, I will look inside. And it's going to be that red attack that we saw earlier hide into the den. And if you're playing Pokemon Sun, you'll be facing Young Goose instead of Rattata. So it's kind of interesting that uh, there, that in this den or in this trial, there's version ex or not really version exclusive Pokemon since you can you can find uh, both Rattata and Young Goose in both versions, but a version exclusive trial you could say. That's kind of interesting, and it's kind of better for me because I've got the disarming voice on Katara, so it's kind of better for me. Anyway, we got ourselves a super potion here, and we got an interesting looking rock. Where there is a revive. Yeah, this is definitely a- But god dang it! Did you jump right at me there? Rattata? And as Ilima said, you can't catch any Pokemon uh, while you are attempting the trial, so don't even try throwing a Pokeball. Because it will. Katara is thinking about Pokebean. Oh, good, okay, then, Katara? Why are you getting quick attacked all the time? Why are you doing that? Anyway, this really shouldn't be too much trouble for a Katara at all. At least these uh, Rattatas. Since I'm actually a, a very high level compared to compared to these wild Pokemon. 
Because I haven't found my second uh, team member yet, but they... Uh, oh, what? TN31 Break Break! Um, if I actually had... Well, I guess Makuhira could actually learn Break Break, but if I had a Poke... If I had a team member that could learn Break Break, it's a fantastic move for this early on in the game. 75 base power, 100% accuracy. It will also be able to break any barriers that the opponent puts up, like Reflect or Light Screen. Aha! There's one right there! But which way do we... We definitely go this way, because there's an item up ahead. Well, that's a given. And we found ourselves a Super Potion! Remember, really, I said we had to stock up on potions. So... But the... The... Trial does that for us, so... We got 10 potions. How many super potions? Six super... Okay, okay, I, I think we're pretty much good to go. Not worry about that in the slightest. Here, are you here? Yes, so we look inside. Nothing! Oh, you trickster, you! You trickster, you. I have to go up this way then, I guess. Are you inside of here? No! Why you have to be this way? God dang it, Ratatas. Ratatas. And it's a guy actually. Try guys. I'm a try guy. Here to have young boys and girls at the Dead Island Challenge. Looks like one more Pokemon, I'm just blocking the way. What if I get eaten from behind or attacked from behind? I don't know, I'll be dead then. There you go, the fight. God dang it! Do I have to predict? Yes, I think I do have to predict where he's going next. Anyway, we got a next defense here. That's pretty... Meh. Doesn't really matter to me. Yo, yo, yo! It's your very thief boys back! Back again! Remember us? Uh, sorry, who are you? Oh, I see. Just cause we switch places, you can't tell who we are anymore! Who cares about that anyway? We're here to mess this trial up, yo! Oh yeah, that's right! Yo, let's get that Pokemon, homie! <laughs> let's get that Pokemon, homie! Wow, you're really here to try and mess up my trial! Wonder what Pokemon you've got this time? Drowsy! Okay, okay. Yo, yo, yo! Time to mess up your Pokemon, bruh! So, let's see. Uh, it's got some pretty good special defense, so let's go for an Aqua Jet! Okay, that's a little bit over half. That's pretty good. Pound? Okay, that basically does nothing. Well, Katara? Smash him! Excellent job, Katara. Excellent job. I'm very pleased with you. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm if I'm this brittle? I I don't know. You you just keep bottling bottling this all the time. What's up with that? For real though, I can't get my skull around it. This gets mad strong, yo. Nah, I didn't be even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man! Isn't this whole place trouble? Yeah, it's only so me! It's actually double trouble! Now that you're here! I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle! <laughs> Again, I just love Team Skull. It's your back. Yo, kid! You know there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. <laughs> nah, we're not going out like that! We gotta get our revenge! Go stand over that then and catch that skulking Rattata, yo! For real? Fine! I got no po bones to pick with you! You got no bones, I. Uh. Okay, okay, okay then. Let, let's check where that uh, Rattata actually was. Over here, I think it was. Yes, it is! Gram! <laughs> Uh, is it scramming at me or at the uh, team sc Oh, it's actually a Radicate! I thought it was a Radita, but no! 
It's upgraded itself. It's gotten a little bit bulkier. It's eating a lot of berries. And it's not ready for battling. Oh! Oh. Oh. You just showed your butt at me! How dare you! How dare you show your butt at uh, Katara? She, she didn't enjoy that, you know? She didn't enjoy your ready butt. But there we go. Actually, yay, I defeated all of the Pokemon, and I might actually need a little bit of healing. I'm taking a few hits, because we gotta be prepared for the Totem Pokemon! I've got the Quick Claw. Am I really going to need a Quick Claw? Well, I don't... Mm, yeah, I might actually need it. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, is it some, anything where it's shining down here? Nope! Nope, nothing at all. Am I ready now? Fantastic! You proved your strength to all three Pokemon. I have a di different access this time. Now to the heart of the cave. It's finally time to get your mitts on your first E crystal. Oh yeah, that thing. Oh, it's right there, just waiting for me. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you. But from where? Yes, I will indeed take the sequester from the pedestal. Radicate! The totem Pokemon Verdant Cavern has appeared! So here we go, the fight against... The Totem Pokemon of Verdant Cavern, Radicate! Radicate is going to be level 12, Dark Normal type, with the ability Gluttony, holding a Pitcher Berry! With the moves Bite, Tail Whip, Scary Face, and Tackle! Jesus, this thing is huge! And what is about Radicate showing their butts at me? I don't know, but let's start off with the disarming voice, because it's super effective. Let's see how much damage it does against Radicate. Okay, a little bit over half. I'm pretty happy with that. Scary face! Okay, that means I'm, that uh, uh, my quick loan may actually come in handy. And this is going to be a new mechanic. It's going to call upon itself an ally Pokemon. And it's going to always be a Rarita level 10. So, some... Well, let's see. Let's, go, let's actually attack Radicate. Though the summoning voice is both. Okay, so I don't get to the side. A critical hit! That, well, that didn't even do much damage at all. Well, I'm definitely fine with that. Whoa, I actually took out a red time one hit! Nice job, Katara! Nice job! So, let's just... Wait... I can just... Aqua Jet it? Yeah, that seems like a good idea! Aqua Jet Radicate! There we go! Well, that was not very difficult at all. That was not difficult at all. Yay! Good job, Katara! You smashed that! Totem Pokemon! Radicate disappeared back into the cave somewhere. What an incredible trainer you are! Oh, I almost got a little bit excited there. Free to be able to defeat the Totem Pokemon that I trained up to such a powerful state. I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokémon, you have cleared the trial of Ilima. You are a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Emil. Secret of from the pedestal is yours now. Trial complete. You got a sea crystal or a green star! Or should I say, not and not a green star! You obtained the Normalium C. What you have just received is the normal sea crystal. It is known as Normalium C. Now if you let the Pokemon that can use the normal type move hold that... 
and strike an elegant pose like this one, and you will be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing sea power. Moving right along! Ah oh, yes, first, there's one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon! Never look hell where a captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon, like Raticate just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, you may summon allies to shore up their offense. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the Totem Pokemon and prove yourself, you cannot try to catch any of the Pokemon you find here in this cave. In fact, have some great balls. Thank you very much, 10 great balls, so you will always come in handy. And here, let me see to you a Pokemon after all of their hard work in there. If we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. Now that's really interesting because now a few more mechanics has opened up to us. Oh, I'm standing inside of the leaf. But anyway, a few things have opened up for us. Now regular wild Pokemon are going to be able to send ally Pokemon. And there are some exclusive Pokemon that are only be able to found in this way of battling. So very interesting. But of course it will be seen in the bios if... The Pokemon is exclusive to an SOS battle. So, something that I forgot to mention is if, if you're playing Pokemon Sun, you'll be fighting a Gumshoes, level 12, normal type, with the ability Adaptability, holding a Petra Berry with the most Super Fang, Bite, Leer, and Scary Face. And its SOS Pokemon is going to be a Young Goose, level 10. So,. That, that fight would actually prove to be a little bit more difficult for me if I was playing if I was playing Pokemon Sun, but fortunately for me, in this case, I was playing Pokemon Moon. And as you can see, right up there is a TM, but there's a giant sturdy looking rock here that I can't get rid of, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait a little bit until we can actually get rid of that. And as he said, we cannot... Actually, catch these wild Pokemon that we can find here in the Verdant Cavern. But of course, it's just these Rattas, and I already caught the uh, color Rattata already, so it's really not that interesting for me. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to beat it, just beat it, beat it with my voice to beat it. There we go. So I actually want to check out one thing in Pokemon Refresh, uh, because I want to see how much it... Okay, Katara doesn't like me very much, eh? Hey, I'm over here, Katara! Yeah, hello there! Because I wanted to see her effect... Okay, she's got two hearts of affection. Because, as I mentioned in one of the previous episodes, I don't know if I want to get full affection on my Pokemon, because... It's almost too good to get full affection, but I I think two is good enough because I want to get that experience boost. Uh, because uh, yeah, that, I, 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 I want to do that. That's really the only affection I really care about. Uh, there's certain affection that lets your Pokemon survive by one HP in some cases. And then there's some that lets them just avoid moves altogether, so... That is almost a little bit too strong for, or too good for me. Oh, we haven't actually, haven't actually fought a Diglett yet, or actually caught a Diglett yet. Then this is, uh, all of my moves are not very effective, except for my moves that are super effective. Okay, that didn't do very much damage at all. Surprise! Astonish! Oh, yeah, we can, we can see uh, this mechanic right off of that, but, but it's not always that it, uh, that it uh, happens. Unfortunately for this thing, let it just, it wouldn't, it would, it wouldn't happen. And also something very annoying is if uh, the Pokemon calls for help and is managed to summon another Pokemon just like this, you won't be able to catch 
you, you can catch a Pokemon when it's two Pokemon on the field at the same time. So if you're just trying to, just like me, catch this uh, Diglett on the right, you won't be able to throw a Pokeball, which I... I've seen moments of it when there's two SHINY Pokemon out on the field at the same time, and you actually have to defeat one of them to catch the other one, so... That would be really heartbreaking if that would actually happen to me, but... You know, the chances of that are lower than one. So... Or one percent, so... Anyway, we got ourselves a Diglett! Which grew three pieces of hair. It's almost like this Pokemon is related to Homer Simpson. Except that Homer has black hair and Diglett has blonde hair. His golden hair is fun functions as sensors. Pokes him out of his burrow to monitor its surrounding. No! And it likes to headbutt people! With his nose! No, I would not like to give Diglett a nickname, but I would like to send it to a fox. And, and now that we have completed our first trial! Hello there, Ilema. You're still waiting for, you're waiting for me outside. You, you said that you would be waiting for me at Route 3. Why are you lying? Greetings, Captain Ilema here. As you travel around the islands of the Lola, you will find captain's barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course. They are escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades, as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? To rumble! Then behold the power of a captain! Or the power of his helper. Voila! Your word just got a little bit bigger. I am the only captain here on Mele Mele Island. Meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform my island Kahuna. Hala! Hi there, Kokoi! Hey there, Emil. Oh, looking at the expressions on Ilma's face. I say you cleared your first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about sea power. Woo! Is that my reward? Hooray! Start off by selecting a compatible sea crystal from the sea crystal's pocket in your bag, yeah? Then use the sea crystal you choose on a Pokemon. Sea crystals are compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move of the same type as the crystal. Uh, my Katara has Echo Voice. I guess my Normalium C could do that. Or I could put it on Katara, but... I don't know how useful it will actually be. I will put it on, however, just so... Just, or we will actually see it on screen right now. As he found, finds himself a Growlite. So now we will get a little bit of a tutorial for the Sea Crystal. It's very simple. You just push the Sea Power uh, button down on the bottom screen. Now you can only use one sea power per battle, so choose wisely. So you will see that Rockruff looks pissed, looks determined. Look this full force sea power, breakneck blitz. It's very like anime style, I kind of feel like it's, it's really over the top looking at these uh, sea moves that we are going to be seeing throughout our journey. Cool. sea powers hit all of a trainer's feelings on the Pokemon, yeah? Which totally wears you out. Using sea power once per battle is all a team can handle, yeah? Oh, so it was why you've been looking so ragged, Professor. No, it's like I was here with Amnesia! I forgot I lost a little somewhere! So... Oh, poor Lily. Think you could spare some time to help me look for her email? I can go and have a look around the cave for you, in case she wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her, yeah? <laughs> poor Lily. She just has no luck. 
It's not big, but it is pretty bare. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll find that out in the next episode of Pokemon Moon. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Now that we have cleared a first trial, we can head off to Route 3. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And oh, oh I, I gotta say that I've had this in my mind a long time to say this in an outro. Okay, bye!